we have arrived at our final guard, quite a bit of the left foot. Uh, even though these are very, very short sections, I wanted to film these as three separate things to kind of keep with the, to be consistent with the other ones. Uh, these will be quite abbreviated because we're always doing the same thing. And as I mentioned before, we don't do this guard with sword by itself. It's a little bit, it's not really a great place to hang out. But as soon as I have a left hand doing what it's doing, this is quite comfortable to be in and it's a nice place to go to. So we're going to start with sword and dagger. And I guess I'm going to do shows us one from each, one high, one low. So if I'm dealing with a Madrito to the high line, I'm going to use my dagger to, def to defend, stepping into it, and then immediately step on my right foot and use an imbrocata or cut to the head or leg. So this is a hand, body, foot, feet type of defense. So we're here. Stepping in, thrusting, or we are stepping in, cutting, cutting, and back to position. If they go low, we use the deck low because it can cover pretty much my entire leg. So we're here, and we simply step to the side and strike with a Barcata. To finish that, we want to come back to the same guard, which is, which is what this guard always does. Left unicorn always goes back to itself. Now, if we picked up a cloak instead, we're not going to see anything different in that we're going to step forward, the left foot, defend with the cloak, thrust. Strike or strike the leg and then come back to the same guard. So here we step in, thrust, or we defend, step in and cut, and come back to position. If instead we go to they go to the leg for whatever reason, maybe I'm inviting it by having my cloak higher than usual. So again here, we simply pull the leg back and either thrust or cut to that arm. So that's all for Mandrito defenses from this position.